Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca and I make beautiful things. This speed paint is inspired by the autumn weather finally coming to the area where I live after a really long hot summer. Um, so today I thought I'd talk about what it feels like in my journey to starting a YouTube channel for the first time uh, and taking it seriously. Uh, so I have ADHD and I've really struggled to stick with things my whole life. I was diagnosed recently so for the longest time I didn't know why I had a hard time sticking with things, I just did. Um, and so now since I, I've had my diagnosis and I understand things a little better, um, I'm giving this a shot and I'm hopeful that the things I've learned and the strategies that I'm implementing will allow me to be successful. But more than ADHD for me, actually, the biggest hurdle to get through for me in starting my YouTube channel was the idea that I had in my subconscious, I didn't even realize I had until recently, that work is supposed to suck. For some reason, I believed in my subconscious that work was never something you actively wanted to do. If you enjoyed it, then it didn't count. Um, and that thought was just so deeply ingrained in me that it, it stopped me from pursuing or seeing as legitimate things that I actively wanted to do. If I was excited about it, then it was like my subconscious pushed me away from that thing. And when I realized that that's what happened, that's what was happening, it actually took a really long time for me to get over it. And, and even when I first started, I had to keep reminding myself that just because I enjoy this, doesn't mean it's not work like just because i'm happy and having fun doesn't mean i'm not working hard which has been super liberating and mind opening for me and and i feel like i'm basically at the point now where i've gotten over that l long held subconscious belief and i wake up in the morning excited to do work, which is something I never thought I would be. For some reason, growing up, the idea of, you know, waking up, you have a job, you do the job, you come home, you go to sleep, and that's kind of your whole life, was just paralyzing to me. It was like the worst thing I could ever imagine. And now, I don't see it that way at all. I see it as you live your life and you try to, you know, figure out how to make money in a way that suits you because obviously we need money, but if you're a creative person who wants to do be in the creative field, then don't become an accountant, you know? You don't have to be miserable. You can live life and your life and your job can kind of be one and the same. Which is really exciting because it means that I'm not just slaving away. I'm not like, you know, living for the weekend or, or not having a fruitful life because I have to have this job. It's like, no, my job and my life are connected. I would be drawing anyway and creating things anyway. Like, this channel isn't just drawing. I've got other videos um, on it and, and I hope to have many more because I have a lot of interests, not just drawing. And I can do those things like I would be anyway. And, and hopefully, have a successful YouTube channel from it. Obviously at this point it's like 
my fourth video, so I am in no way successful yet, but the fact that I would be doing these things anyway and enjoy it and have so have that intrinsic motivation rather than extrinsic, I feel like hopefully this can be something I can stick to for the long haul and can just continue to work at it um, and keep learning and keep growing. So it does become sustainable and something that can carry me forward to new and exciting places. So yeah, it's been it's been really interesting to feel those preconceived notions about work fall away as I do this. Every day I I wake up and I'm like, okay, what am I going to do today? I've got so many things that I can do. I've got this channel. I have another channel called Play Beautiful Games, where I play beautiful games. Um, and like there are, are a lot of things that I want to do with my life and it, it just feels like for the first time those things are possible and it's all because of my mindset shift and the beginning of that was when I realized that I thought you had to be miserable at your job for it to count like honestly I if I saw someone who was happy at their job and like not just like oh yeah I love the people I work with but like honestly like did something really cool like I was watching a fruity knitting on YouTube, a fruity knitting episode where someone's job was to go around to knitting conventions and write about them and review the vendors and everything and that was her job and she traveled around Europe to these conventions and I literally remember my thought when I heard that was kind of I wouldn't say disgust, but just kind of like an aversion in my mind and the thought was, well that doesn't count, you know, because that sounds awesome, so that doesn't count, like you can't, <laughs> that's not work. So when I realized that I had that thought, that was the beginning of me being able to break free from that thought process and actually feel like it was legitimate to chase the things that I like and that I thought were fun and life-giving and everything. So yeah, I don't know where that came from, but if, if you're watching this and that's something that you find yourself thinking, I encourage you to look at that and kind of question that and wonder like is that actually the way things are maybe you're avoiding something that could give you a lot of happiness because you've got these subconscious ideas of what it means to work and what it means to be happy so yeah i feel like a lot of the times where we're the ones that keep ourselves limited like, there's something about our brains that just stop us from going those extra miles or believing that we can, we can do things that we want to do. And so we just kind of stay small and we stay unhappy, but there's no way out that we can see and so we're just kind of resigned. Like... I was watching a YouTube video of an ar another artist, I forget which one, and one of the comments was something along the lines of, like, after a long day at a job I hate, it's nice to come home to one of your videos. And I looked at that comment and I was like, why are you in a job you hate? Like, obviously, there are some people in some circumstances where they have to stay in jobs like that and that that's horrible that really sucks but it just made me think of my situation and I was just wondering like 
Is this person stuck in a job they hate because of actual reasons or is it because of a mindset like it was for me? Is it because they feel like, oh, you know, she, this artist, this person on YouTube is doing a really cool thing, but that's because she's her, you know, not because I can't do that. You know, special people can do that, or people like her can do that, but not me. And that's just not true. Like, there's nothing special about the people who are living their best lives and doing what they want. Aside from mindset, basically, it's because they're going for it. And they're doing it, and they don't have the subconscious thought that they shouldn't. A lot of the times. Obviously, there are extenuating circumstances um, sometimes, but I think a lot of the time it's mindset. So, yeah, and, and for me too, the YouTube channel goes hand in hand with the idea that, especially with the internet and especially for me as, as a creator of things, you like, I don't need just one job. I don't need just one, like, this is what makes most of my money or all of my money. I can spread out the way I make money so that no one thing needs to carry that much burden. So if YouTube doesn't end up making me a ton of money, that's fine because I have other things that I'm doing as well that will hopefully be making my me money as well. And those can kind of ebb and flow and fluctuate, but with all the things I'm doing, I'm, I'm still in a good place financially, which for someone with ADHD is just the dream because it kind of breaks down and, and gets rid of that deep fear that I always had of the, you know, wake up, go to work, come home, go to sleep. It gets rid of that monotony, which for me, like monotony, boredom, those things are just, they're horrible, they, they destroy my soul, you know? So, that also has been a huge influence on me doing this YouTube channel, is the idea that I can kind of just do things I love, the varied things that I love, and no one thing has to have the pressure of being super su mega successful such that I can live off that income alone you know I can I can live off many incomes so yeah I'm very fortunate to have the space and time to think these things and realize these things and re-center and rethink my thought processes and question myself like what do you believe why do you believe it? And is it even true? Because a lot of the times I think we just unconsciously believe things. And if we don't look within ourselves and, and ask ourselves those questions, then we're just going to be, you know, living on autopilot, possibly living a life that we're unhappy with and is, is not living true to us and true to what we find important and like the way that I want to live with multiple income streams it maybe isn't the way other people want to live maybe they would find that stressful which is totally fine but for me it's just so exciting so yeah I'm I'm really really excited to see what happens in in the next year with this YouTube channel um we're at the beginning here, but every day I'm learning and every day I'm working at it. And yeah, I'm really grateful for everyone watching who listens to me and who is coming with me on this journey. I hope it's going to be a really cool, cool place to be. And yeah, so thank you so much. Uh... Yeah, so this is this is the moth. Uh, like I said, it's for sale as a sticker and as a print on my Society6 store, if you guys are interested. Thanks for watching and for listening, 
and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!